All right, thank you very much for joining me again. This is Gulpain, uh, back with a quick video. And today I'm going to go through um, a topic that I saw a few people doing. Um, it's uh, your three best pickups of like recent, your three best recent pickups, and then your five um, like wish list games, like games you want to get like in, in the near future. Um, so I've got my three pickups here and I've got my five in my head. <laughs> so uh, let's have a quick look. So my three best pickups then, I'm going to start off with um, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. So this is in like um, a, a Nintendo case. It's a Switch game, but it came in the Nintendo case. I got it from Limited Run. I think I ordered it like February 2021 and I got it like November 2021. So I was waiting absolute ages for it. Um, and I haven't actually tried it yet either. Um, I did an unboxing of it, so I won't dwell on it too long, but it's... I, li I really like the first one, uh, Curse of the Moon 1, which I have in the collection there, but... Um, I had to buy it from America because it wasn't released in um, in Paltrow territories. I don't think anyway because I had to pay like customs on it as well, which was I had to go all the way to the post office and get it. But anyway, that was ridiculous. But this is really good. Um, so this is like a two D uh, sort of Castlevania style game. Well, it's it's an exact copy of Castlevania. Um, the old Castlevanias on a Nintendo, and it comes in like a really cool box, uh, like the thing as well with the dust sleeve and all that. So absolutely fantastic pickup. I uh, really enjoyed that, and I was waiting waiting a while for it, but it was worth the wait. <laughs> and then the next one then is a. It's more of a sort of like I was looking for this for a while. Uh, it's it's Simon's Quest for the, um, the 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 old Nintendo NES. Now I don't have a Nintendo NES. Um, I simply got this because it was a really good price and um, it was in box as well and has the manual and has the little styrofoam thing at the bottom of it, although I don't like styrofoam, but it has a styrofoam thing at the bottom of it. Um, the only thing that's wrong with it is it's got a Selfridge sticker on it um, and I can't get it off without ripping like Simon's chest plate off or something like that, so, um, but still pretty cool. Uh, always nice to get a Nintendo NES, um, like complete in box game, um, and Castlevania as well to add to my ever-growing Castlevania collection. And then the last one then is uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Now I know this is like a really common game, there's like a hundred copies of it in every house. Everyone's tripping over Super Mario Odysseys. But um, I really, really enjoyed this. I hadn't played a really good Mario game since like, well not including Mario Kart, like, but you know, a really good kind of this style of Mario game in ages and ages and ages. Um, I did like Super Mario on the DS and the um, new Super Mario Brothers, those, the four new Super Mario Brothers games. But I only played like the first one, uh, then I when I played this then I got back into the, this kind of brought the you know the Mario obsession back like so um, I went back and I got the, the Game Boy Advance um, you know like the remix well not remix but the the re the the reimagining or whatever or the upgraded um, Super Mario Bros 3 and Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros 2 and I also got the four the the one on the Wii the, the DS one the 3DS one and the um, the Switch one the, the 2D ones it was a, the Switch one is a remake of the um, Oh, the, not a remake, it's a, I don't know, remaster or so, whatever, of the Wii U one. Or a, actually, a, it's, I think it's a worse version of the Wii U one. Um, Super, Super Mario Bros. U and also Super Wii, Luigi's Bros. as well. But this is fantastic, I really enjoyed this, I got totally addicted to it. So this will be, go on my list as the best pickup. Or one of the best pickups. And then my wish list games then, which I've wrote down here on notes on my phone. Uh, the first one, well there's three, three PSP games. So I've been looking for these for ages, and I can't get them at a good price. Um, there was one on eBay, and a guy was selling it, but the box was, um, it was the real game, but the box was fake. He basically, he said he was selling um, selling this game. It's a Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch. Uh, it's a Legend of Heroes. Uh, it's the, there's a Legend of Heroes, well, there's a couple of Legend of Heroes trilogies on PSP. Uh, one is Trails in the Sky, and there's two other parts of that that weren't released here. And then there's another one, which is... This is one of them, uh, this is Brave Story, or sorry, this is, um, not Brave Story, this is um, uh, Legend Heroes of Tear of Vermilion. I think this is, excuse me, I think that was with um, these other two games here that I'm looking for. Uh, one is Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch and the other is Song of the Ocean. So I think that's a trilogy, I'm not sure. And there's also Brave Story, Legend of Heroes as well, which I need to get that as well. But um, yeah, those are two uh, kind of in the same kind of, because I kind of like getting trilogies. Uh, so those are two in the, in, um, that I'd like to pick up. The only problem is they, they are really expensive here. And also I have on East Ireland, which is a, it's like a, an American um, game company. I think they have a shop and you can basically like, you can, um, you know, like get an email when the game is in stock and the game came into stock and I was like, oh sweet, I'll buy it. Then it was like a hundred pounds or something or a hundred dollars and I was like, I'm not paying that. Um, I'll go 30 for each one, that's about it. But um, I'll hopefully I'll eventually get them. I might go a little bit higher, but uh, because I want to play them as well because I quite like uh, Brave, or not Brave Story, um, A Tear of Vermilion. Uh, 
Um, so that's Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch and Song of the Ocean. And then number three then is another PSP game, because I do love PSP RPGs, is uh, Grow Lancer Wayfarer of Time. So this is another uh, PSP RPG. I don't really know much about this. It looks very anime on the cover and on the back of it it looks very anime as well and I love that sort of stuff. And I believe it's a turn-based one, although I'm not 100% sure. I hope it's a turn-based one. If it's not turn-based I probably won't get it because I don't really like the action RPGs. Um, a lot of them, like sh sh like a couple of them I got recently, Shining Resonance, Refrain, it's okay, but I'd rather the turn-based ones. And then another one then, number four, is a Sigma Star Saga for the Game Boy Advance. Now, I offered someone on eBay, I think they were looking for £60 for it, I offered them, I think it was 20 or 30 and they refused it. And then by the time I went to go back then to offer them a little bit more, it was gone. But Sigma Star Saga is a Game Boy Advance game, it's like a half RPG, half shooter. So like you do all the RPG stuff, like with the characters and the talking and all that good stuff, and then it's like a... I think it's a 2D shooter, like you're in a plane or something like that, so that's an interesting thing. I always want to pick up like RPGs that have like some sort of different gimmick, like Inazuma 11 has like the football in it, or um, you know Mario Golf or Mario Tennis has like the tennis in it as well as being an RPG. And then the last one I want to get then is Tormented Souls. Now as far as I can tell it's only out on the PS5 at the moment and I don't have a PS5, so that's a problem. Uh, this is like a Resident Evil style game, but it's, a, it's an old fashioned Resident Evil style game where it's like the backgrounds are static and I'm not sure if it's tank controls. I think it's just just regular controls but basically like it's it's that sort of style with the, the static backgrounds and like in a, a horror setting so I'll do like those. Now it is coming out on Switch but it's not out on Switch yet. Um, I looked to buy it there, um, I think it was last week I looked to buy it and um, it's still like in pre-order I think anyway. It, it, by the time this video comes out it'll probably be out and I'll have it. <laughs> um, yeah, so Torment, Tormented Souls. Uh, so those are five uh, wishlist games and three best pickups. Uh, so that was just a quick uh, VR to the person that did it. Um, so if you've got, if you want to do a VR to this video, by all means do it. Or else just mention your um, top three pickups in the comments and your wishlist uh, games as well in the comment section below. So I will see you in the next video and appreciate you watching till the end of the video. Thanks very much. Adios.